Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. Well, November is upon us, it is bitter cold, and you know what? It's perfect for trout. It looks like I'm crying, I'm not really, my eyes are watering, it is bitter cold today. We had a miserable day yesterday, snowing, raining, cold, windy. The wind is continuing today, but the sun is out. So I'm out here with Antonio. We're drifting the lower Niagara River, just outside of Queenston. There's a beautiful drift here along the shoreline. There's a nice one there on the American side too, along the Lewiston shoreline, which is peppered with boats right now. And there's only a, two or three of us here on the Canadian side. So we're gonna be drifting for trout. And at this time of year in November, you could get uh, brown trout, rainbow trout, steelhead. You get uh, lake trout. So we don't really know what we're going to hook into today, but we're hoping to hook into something. So stay tuned, folks. We're looking to have a great time. Holy folks. Well, that's about the fourth drift in. My fingers are absolutely numb. And I got my first pick up. And he hit really, really hard. Now, he's not jumping, so I don't think it's a steelhead or a rainbow. At least I don't think so. He's fighting more like a lake trout right now. What a nice hit though. <laughs> you know, it's, it's zero degrees out here. It's the month of November, but with this wind chill, honestly, it feels like minus 10. But I love it. And so do the trout anglers. It's tough, tough to keep the trout angler off the water. There are more trout fishermen out here today than I think I've seen all year. Oh, it's a beauty. You know what? I need my net. Okay. Here it is here. Let's see if I can get him back up. Uh, come on. Up and in. Mr. Laker. It is a lake trail. He's in the bank. Oh, my. Nice lake trail right there, folks. Okay, come on, Mr. Lake Trope. Oh. There we go, folks. Not a bad Laker. Good start to the day right there. I'm happy to get one fish. Don't know if we'll get more, but we got one in the bag, and I'm a happy guy right there. It's a nice Lake Trope. We're going to get this Laker right back in the water. Release him for another day. Okay, Mr. Laker. And away you go. The water is actually warmer than the air right now, folks. But I'll tell you what we're doing. We don't have any row bags with us today. We're just drifting uh, with the T-turn, as you see there, down to a cattail sinker. And the reason for the cattail is a lot of snags down there and rocks, and this just walks over the bottom very, very nicely. And then down about uh, oh, two feet to a little minnow imitating uh, lure here. And all it's got on there, this is a small one, it's only got one little hook on there. So that's all I was relying on for that trout. I do have a couple bigger sizes, but I thought I'd start with the smaller size right now. And I'm running a gold colored lure. And the reason for the gold is just because the water's a little bit murky because of all that snow and sleet and rain that we had yesterday and the heavy winds. The water gets churned up and colored and the gold reflects nice, real nicely in that darker and stained water. So we're gonna keep drifting here. It's getting real busy on the American side there out of Lewiston, New York. But so far here on the Canadian side, there's only a couple of us. So we're gonna keep drifting and see if we can hook into more fish. Okay, we're just coming up for another drift here, folks. Perfect. Again, all I'm doing with this rig, and I don't have to worry about tangles because of the T-turn, and in case you're wondering, I have snapped. I've only snapped on my lure, just with a single snap, and I've snapped on my cattail. And I'm just gonna drop that down. And it's funny because when I opened up this morning, I started off with a, a one ounce cattail sinker, but with this heavy wind, I needed to go to three ounces to get me, uh, to get me down there, so it was real easy. I just snapped one on and snapped on the other one kind of the convenience of using those snaps. I really, really like them. And that's it, the technique. Now all I'm doing is just touching bottom with that cattail sinker and just drifting along and letting that minnow imitating crankbait just work its way along the bottom. 
and it's kind of funny because we're drifting here the opposite the way that our American neighbors are. Our U.S. neighbors are drifting down current like this, but we actually have a back current here. There's a current edge, and we're actually drifting against the, against the normal uh, current of the river, which is kind of neat. But it's a nice little back current here, and it's a, it's a great little drift. And uh, as we get more into November, the steelhead will start showing up, and the fishing only gets better. It may get colder, but the fishing gets better. It's my turn now. Antonio! <laughs> <laughs> the boltless angler strikes. <laughs> I thought I had a snag actually. So I can't really say how good the bite was. That me that means another lake trout, Antonio. Yeah, I think so. Actually here it is right now. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice. Same size. Yeah. Looks like another nice laker. Well, this system is working, folks. This is going to be a challenge. My hands are frozen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like winter out here. It's the wind. The wind is the killer. <laughs> He's got a mouthful of net. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice lake trout, Antonio. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'd say it's a beauty. Let him go. Catch a release. And back in we go. How's that water? It's actually warm. I, I know. It's, swim. it's 53 degrees and it feels warm, that water. Oh. Well, <laughs> it de slime. And you got the same rig I got, right? Same thing. Yeah, cattail, snaps, on a T turn. Nice. Gold. That gold is doing it today. Yeah, I actually just switched up. I put a bigger size on, so it worked. It worked. I'm going to stick with my little one, and we're going to keep drifting. <laughs> oh, oh, we're having a day out here today, folks. I think I got the world's smallest rainbow on here. I don't know. You just come barreling out, but it's a small, it's a small thing. There he is there. Oh, oh, what a hit. An acrobatic for a little guy. Strong bite. Okay, look at the net. That was really something. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at that. World's smallest rainbow. Wow. What do you think, Antonio? It looks like a salmon to me. Hey, maybe it is. It's a coho. You know what? It's exactly what it is. I think you're right. I think you might be right. You know where that one's going, folks. We're gonna keep this one right there. That is one nice little fish. Put my live well on. We were gonna just catch a release today, but this guy is gonna taste up nicely on the barbecue. But what a little hit, look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful fish right there. That's a great sign, too, for this water that these fish are, are reproducing in here. That's really, really nice. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Am I ever glad I caught him? <laughs> you should have seen him. He hit and he come right out of the water. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna get him in the live well, folks. This guy is gonna be dinner tonight, that's for sure. Whoops. Definitely dinner tonight. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna put him right on the grill. I can't believe it. Next drift out. And another hit. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's another, it feels like it could be another lake trope. He didn't break the, break, the, break the surface, so it's a good chance it's a laker. But he seems to be fighting like a rainbow, so hard to tell, hard to tell. And all we're doing, folks, is drifting. The current's doing all the work on the lure. The T-turn's keeping us tangle free. We're just bouncing along the bottom. And the lure is just working with that current. And it's working for us today. Oh, there it is there. Looks like a, looks like a laker. I got a quick look at him. Oh, gonna lighten up with a drag. He's peeling. He, he's, he's peeling drag. Oh. And when he hit, he kind of hit, 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 hit. And then I set the hook on him. 
It's kind of funny how he hit. Wow, he's taking drag again. It's a good one, Antonio. He feels. Oh yeah. He feels like. Oh, these fish are really strong, folks. Really, really strong. There he is. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Laker, nice size lake trout. Yes. Okay. Wow, they got a lot of teeth in their mouth too. You know what? I'm gonna use this needle nose because my fingers are frozen, absolutely frozen. There we go. That came out easy enough. Oh, looks like that hook's bent a little bit. That's okay. Okay, let's get this lake trout. Oh, that's a big laker. Pretty big laker anyway. Oh, there we go. There's a nice lake trout right there, folks. You know what I want to do, Antonio? We're going to snap a photo of this guy. I'm going to share it with my Instagram friends, and then we're going to release him. Goodbye, Mr. Lake Trout, and hello, another drift coming up. Well, folks, Antonio and I have had ourselves a real good morning of fishing. You know what? It's November and it's cold. But let's not put away our fishing rods yet. There's a lot of great fishing to be had. Hope you get an opportunity to get out there. And you know what? If you can, make it out to Queenston, Ontario or out to Lewiston, New York. You can't go wrong on either side of the Lower Niagara River. It's great fishing from the boat or from shore. Either way, you can't go wrong. Anyhow, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. It's always great to see you. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. Did. You did, okay. Well, then chances are you might have two. And you I have, have three. three. <laughs> <laughs> how's, that, how's that for a... <laughs>